Electrolysis of Aqueous Solutions Water molecules in an aqueous solution, slightly dissociate to produce hydrogen ions, and hydroxide ions. Thus, aqueous solutions contain hydrogen ions, and hydroxide ions besides electrolyte ions. The table shows the content of cation, and anion in several types of aqueous solutions. The choice of ion, to be discharged depends on, the position of ions, in the electrochemical series, concentration of ions, in the electrolyte solution, types of electrodes. The first factor is the position of ions, in the electrochemical series. An ions located at the lower part of the electrochemical series, is more prone to be discharged compared to other ions above it. For example both sodium cation, and hydrogen cation in an electrolyte solution, will be attracted to the cathode. At the cathode, hydrogen ion, will be preferably discharged, as it is below sodium ion in the electrochemical series. If there are sulfate anion, and hydroxide anion in an electrolyte solution, both ions will be attracted to the anode. At the anode, hydroxide ion will be preferably discharged, as it is below sulfate ion in the electrochemical series. Concentration of ions in electrolyte solution, also affects the choice of ions to be discharged. The concentration of ions normally affects, the choice of ions to be discharged at the anode only, where the more concentrate an ion, the more it's most likely to be discharged. For example, if concentration of chloride ion, is higher than hydroxide ion in an electrolyte solution, chloride ions will be preferably discharged at the anode, even though chloride ion is higher in position than hydroxide ion, in the electrochemical series. If there are sodium cation, and hydrogen cation, in an concentrated electrolyte solution, hydrogen ion, will be preferably discharged as hydrogen ion. This is because the hydrogen ion, is below the sodium ion in the electrochemical series. If the type of metal used as the anode, is similar to the type of metal ion, which is found in the electrolyte solution, metal atoms will lose electrons to form metal ions. At the cathode, metal ions will receive electrons, and form metal atoms. The concentration of electrolyte solution does not change. This is because the rate of change of metal atoms, into metal ions at the anode, is equal to the rate of change of metal ions, into metal atoms at the cathode. For example, electrolysis of copper 2 sulfate solution, with copper electrode as anode, and carbon electrode as cathode. During electrolysis, copper atom will lose two electrons to form copper ion, copper electrodes will dissolve in the solution. At the cathode, copper 2 ion receives two electrons, to form copper atom. Thank you for taking time to watch this.